5 Heartwarming Rescue Stories to Start Off Your 2022 Right Let's face it the last two years have been challenging, to say the least. And as we head into 2022, many of us are looking forward to new adventures, new healthy habits, and for some, new pets to add into our lives. No matter what you have planned for this year, start it off right with these inspiring stories of recent animal rescues that go above and beyond. We've got flying puppies. Best puff furins and pipe diving kitties, so buckle in and be prepared to have your heart melted. Dog missing for four months finally reunited with owner. When Russ, a three-year-old pitbull mix, got lost in Lake Tahoe in August of 2021, his owner was devastated. He searched for Russ and alerted animal officials, but the Caldor fire was raging over 220,000 acres and forced him to evacuate. When Russ didn't turn up, his owner, a traveling nurse, had to leave the Tahoe area for a job and sadly assumed that his pup was lost for good. But then, a miracle happened. A skier in Tahoe spotted the dog buried deep in the snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains in December, where he was growling and unable to move. After posting pictures of the pup to Facebook, the rescue group Tahoe Paws and TLC Four Furry Friends rushed to the dog's rescue. These rescue experts geared up with snowshoes to contend with five feet of recent snowfall. Dog rescue equipment and a sled, and track the dog up the mountain in sub-zero temperatures. When they finally found him under a tree, Russ was still at first and didn't move, but rescuers rejoiced when he opened his eyes. Gently, they placed him on a sled atop a rescuer for warmth, and started a slow, two-hour trek down the mountain in the dark. Luckily for Russ, not only did his owner report him missing, but he also had the dog microchip which helped lead investigators to him. Needless to say, Russ's reunion with his owner was fervulous. Man saves dog's best friend. When Derek and his girlfriend adopted Dexter from their local shelter, they thought they were just getting one pit bull. Dexter and Derek were immediate friends and spent many days playing outside and cuddling together. After a while, though, Derek noticed a stray pit bull who'd come into his yard and play with Dexter. Hesitant at first, Derek soon saw how sweet and playful the new dog was, and that he and Dexter formed an instant connection. Whenever Derek and Dexter were outside, the dog was sure to show up to greet them, ready for a play session. But there was a problem the new dog didn't have a collar and animal control was on the lookout for strays. Derek was determined to make sure his dog's bestie didn't end up in the shelter, so he put a collar on him and found the dog's owners who lived just two doors down. Despite Derek's warning to them about keeping the collar on, the dog was seen without it the next day, and soon disappeared. Racked with worry for his dog's best friend, Derek couldn't put the dog out of his mind. Determined to save him, Derek finally found him in a shelter, scared and frozen. He adopted Dokes on the spot and brought him home to be reunited with Dexter. Soon after, they put the house up for sale and moved the pups to a new home in the country with plenty of space for them to run and play. Nurse saves patient's dog from the pound. Jennifer Smith could see the love in her patient's eyes when he talked about his precious fur baby. John had suffered a stroke a year before and had been attending the Grand Rehabilitation and Nursing Facility in Rome. NY on an outpatient basis where he had gotten to know Jennifer and talked about his furry bud often. But when he fell ill with pneumonia and had to be hospitalized, his dog Boomer had ended up at the local shelter. John didn't have any family in the state, so when he wasn't there to take care of Boomer, the 12-year-old dog found himself behind bars.
On the Monday after Thanksgiving at 7 a.m., Jennifer received a phone call from John who was beside himself with worry. Boomers in the pound. She knew she had to step in. She searched the local shelters for the dog, and when she found him, she realized that though she had heard all about him for months, he didn't know her. Boomer is a small mixed breed dog, weighing only 18 pounds, and had no reason to trust Jennifer. But he must have sensed she was there to save him, and came right over for a lick. Jennifer adopted Boomer right then, and surprised John on the day of his hospital discharge by bringing Boomer to work where John would be staying for rehabilitation. When John saw his pal, he burst into tears. Today, Boomer lives with Jennifer and visits John regularly, and has become a mascot for the program with his sweet and lovable personality. 27 Puppies Saved from Kill Shelter in Plane Rescue when Cassandra Diana Marie posted her clips of a plane full of puppies on her TikTok account in September 2021. Anyone who saw it had to take a pause. Podorable puppies filled every nook and cranny of the small passenger plane. And covered the volunteers who were taking them to their new lives. Cassandra is just one of a group of volunteers from Alabama Puppy Rescue Flights who transport puppies from shelters and rescues throughout Alabama, which experience a high level of overcrowding, to Central Florida where they are more able to be adopted. But this particular flight was one for the books. 27 puppies of all breeds, colors and sizes were rescued from a high-kill shelter in Alabama and stuffed into the small plane with three volunteers and a pilot. To fit all the puppies in, they had to consider weight and left behind a lot of essentials, including crates for the dogs and waters. The puppies were laying everywhere, covering the rescuers, climbing over each other and gazing out the window as they undertook an adventure of a lifetime. Though the flight only took 40 minutes, Cassandra reassured viewers that the pups got some exercise before boarding and that they remained at a puppy-safe altitude at 7,000 feet. Best of all, each and every pup you see in the videos has been adopted. And that big German shepherd in the back? This high flyer is giving back and currently training to be a police dog. Many rescue organizations contributed to this possum pup flight rescue including Florida-based Save a Life Pet Rescue, Abby's Rescue, and Open Heart Rescue, as well as Pilots and Paws. Dog rescued after being thrown off Florida Bridge in a bin. Daisy unhurt as Animal Services team responds to Orange County Witnesses phone call. A young dog miraculously survived uninjured after being thrown off a 15-feet bridge from a moving car while in a plastic bin. Police from Orange County, Florida, say they received a call from an eyewitness who was walking their dog and saw someone toss the plastic container over the bridge. The resident said that they realized the dog had been abandoned and alerted the local police. The concerned resident had stated they thought there was a dog inside, as they could see it curled up inside from the top of the bridge, said Orange County Animal Services in a statement about the incident posted on social media. Authorities at the scene last week spent 30 minutes climbing down the steep embankment, scrambling through brush, to reach the dog, who landed near the bridge, ABC News reported. Our officer along with the deputy had to risk injury to climb down the steep embankment, but they were able to pull Sweet Daisy out safely. We're grateful for their courage and their quick response. What they found was a young female dog inside a small blue plastic tote that had been thrown away like garbage, the Facebook post said. They posted pictures of the dog looking up from where she had landed and then being petted by the animal services officer who went down ten to her. The four-year-old dog, who was named Daisy by local authorities, was rescued and taken for care by the county employees. The dog has since been adopted, the animal services officials said.
The authorities added that they were unsure why the dog was dumped, given the proximity of nearby shelters. The location where Daisy was dumped is a short drive from the shelter. There are literally hundreds of private rescues that would be willing to take in a sweet and gentle dog for foster or adoption. And yet someone chose instead to commit this act of cruelty, said statement read. It went on to say, we will never understand why people do these cruel things to animals, but we feel fortunate that so many residents see something and say something.